Are you heading back from the gym right now? Maybe you got in your workout this morning on a Thursday. You're feeling good. You got the endorphins going. The blood's pumping. You're ready to attack the day. Well, I just wanted to let you know that according to MSNBC, you are an extremist. According to MSNBC, you may be a white supremacist. Oh, my goodness. How dare you? Oh, this is this is fun. Uh, I, this came from an MSNBC columnist. Says here, opinion piece headline, pandemic fitness trends have gone extreme. Literally. White supremacist latest scheme to valorize violence and hyper masculinity has gone digital. Dun, dun, dun. You can't make this crap up. I'm just going to read you a couple of excerpts from this piece and um, have some fun with this. You know, it seemed to me that we should be encouraging people, especially in the wake of COVID, to exercise, to go to the gym, to get outside, to, you know, get in shape, to be physically fit. But now, if you support or endorse any of that, well, you might as well be a Nazi. Here's how the article starts. Earlier this month, researchers reported that a network of online fascist fitness chat groups on the encrypted platform Telegram are recruiting and radicalizing young men with neo-Nazi and white supremacist extremist ideologies. Initially lured with health tips and strategies for positive physical change, new recruits are later invited to closed chat groups where far-right content is shared. Physical fitness, the author writes, has always been central to the far right. (laughs) In Mein Kampf, Hitler fixated on boxing and jujitsu, believing they could help him create an army of millions who aggressive spirit and impeccably trained bodies, combined with fanatical love of the fatherland, would do more for the German nation than any mediocre tactical weapons training. I, this is not satire. I know you think I'm making this up. I, You're listening and you're like, this can't be a real opinion piece on MSNBC. Oh, no, it is. It's on MSNBC.com. I'm reading it right now, and I will share it on social media after I'm done here, it, just so you can see it for yourself. I, it, this is the kind of stuff that is being pushed. The article goes on to note here in part, The intersection of extremism and fitness leans into a shared obsession with the male body, training, masculinity, testosterone, strength, and competition. Yeah, that whole thing about, like, being in shape, competing, testosterone, masculinity, all things that many on the left hate, right? They want to create a culture of woke soy boys who don't even know if they're actually men. Right. That's 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 their dream. Mm -hmm. That's what they have in mind for American culture and for men in particular. Don't go to the gym. Don't exercise. Now, I'm somebody who biasly enjoys exercise. It's a way for me to blow off steam when I get done with the trolls at this job. I need it for my it's for me is as much as a mental health thing as it is a physical health thing. And I am Pete's antithesis. <laughs> <laughs> and John crushes a good bag of Cheetos when the yeah, show wraps yeah, up. Oh, man. Uh, that's right. We're the yin and the yang, man. That's what it's all about. Yep. But for me, it's as much a mental thing as it is a physical thing. I mean, that's, I, that's why I really enjoy it. And it's important to me. But now, somehow, if I do that, if I'm a part of that, am I part of the white supremacist, masculinity, testosterone, Obsessed with strength and training and physical fitness, and I might as well be a you know a Nazi from eighty five ninety years ago, because that's the insinuation here. And I think back to three and a half years ago when these people were pushing horrible policies during COVID, shutting down gyms, shutting down outdoor basketball courts, shutting down public parks. When in hindsight, you know what we should have done. During COVID, we should have, if you want to talk about stimulating an economy and actually helping an American people, we should have handed out free gym memberships. Remember all the money we were handing out hand over fist? We should have given out free gym memberships to everybody who would have taken one. Kept the gyms open. Kept the gyms open. Yep. And 
and then give people their free memberships. You know, mm-hmm. here's how we're going to help out with COVID. We're going to encourage you to drop 15 pounds. That's what we're going to do because we knew that COVID was most harmful to people who were older and carried around some extra weight. And instead, what do we do? Shut down gyms. We put chain links around basketball hoops. We closed public parks. We closed down playgrounds for kids. And we told everybody, go in your basement, open your screens, and do nothing and hide and eat. And the COVID-15, instead of becoming losing 15 pounds, which is what it should have been, instead it became adding 15 pounds. We are less physically fit in the wake of COVID-19, which is not good, by the way, for a country that already was pretty unhealthy and pretty darn overweight. Yeah, this comes from the left that would hold up Lizzo as yeah. more of an ideal than Serena Williams. I mean, her yeah. guns are bigger than mine, so she, you know what's that say then, according to this article? That's, that's right? outstanding. Yeah, very good point. One of the strangest things I saw when I worked at Amazon was when I was driving through a neighborhood, I saw there was police tape wrapped around the kids' playground at one of the neighborhoods. That is there. sick. <laughs> wow. That is sick. So the kids wouldn't play on the equipment. That is stuff that should never be forgotten. When we talk about failures of government from, you know, federal to local, that's the kind of stuff from three years ago now that should never be forgotten. We told kids not to play on playgrounds and sit on iPads. We told kids not to socialize and use their screens. And now here we are three years later, and the insinuation that you would be into fitness is now, according to an MSNBC columnist, part of an extreme far-right movement. The article goes on to note here, physical fitness training, especially in combat sports, appeals to the far-right for many reasons. Fighters are trained to accept significant physical pain, to be warriors, and to embrace messaging around solidarity heroism, and brotherhood. We wouldn't want those messages to, you know, infiltrate the American thought process, would we? It's championed as a tool to help fight the coming race war and the street battles that will precede it. Recruits are encouraged to link individual moral virtues such as willpower, decisiveness, and courage with desired collective traits such as virality and manliness. Oh, wait. (sighs) There's so much there. I mean, there's just so much there. I'm getting pissed now. Yeah, to dive into. All of those things may be part of MMA training, may be part of men exercising. That may be true. But I don't view words like solidarity, heroism, brotherhood. uh, I don't view those as negative. And the idea that if you like exercising... You're preparing for the coming race war and some street battles. You know, I spend three to four days a week in a gym and I see and I meet listeners of this show at the gym and we have some laughs and we talk a little news of the day and it's all good. And you know what? No one's ever said to me, hey, Peter. Put up two and a quarter today, preparing for the race war. It's going to be here any moment. You know, I, oh boy, I'm, I'm ready for the street battles. I, boy, I did a PR today. 235 on the bench press, man. I'm all ready. Woo! No. In the hundreds of times I've spoken to other men in a gym, that conversation has never happened. But if you were to believe MSNBC... You would think that those of us who are males who like to exercise are trying to spot each other because we're secretly preparing for some type of race war. This is insane. Completely insane. But it's also so on brand. The invoking Hitler. Yeah. Anything that Hitler did then must equate to. Well, he yes. wrote Mein Kampf, so any author must be. Yeah. Right? Oh, Hitler like boxing and jujitsu. I yeah. guess Hitler and Muhammad he Ali are on the too. same okay. side of the coin. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Unbelievable. Yeah. 913-408-7710. Maybe you're getting out of the gym. I want to hear from you, you white supremacist. 